Hey guys, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and I have a really quick math game that you can do um, with your, you know, kindergartners or young preschoolers, um, maybe even first graders, and it's just kind of fun, and it's for them to do um, num before numbers and after numbers. So basically what you do, what you need is you need some sort of a box or a cup or a basket, something that they can reach into, um, because... You know, you want to kind of make it fun because they, you don't want them to see the numbers. So I have here this wipes container, and I have it open like this. Um, and he has to reach into it, just kind of like this, and he has to pick out a number. Now, you need some numbers. Um, these ones that I have are just uh, are puzzle pieces from a Melissa and Doug puzzle. Um, but you could just have, like, pieces of paper where you've written numbers or um, number flashcards, whatever you want. Um, but... I had him dig, like put his hand in here, and then he just pulled one out, and then he had to tell me what the number was that he pulled out, so he pulled out 20, so he has to say 20, and then I would say, okay, what comes after 20? He had to say 21. What comes before 20? 19. Very good. If he got it right, he got to keep the number. If he got it wrong, he had to throw it back in the um, container, and then he got to pick out another one. Now, he liked it because it was hidden, so he just kind of had to dig around, and we kept going until he got to keep all the numbers in the box. So, he pulled out a three. What comes after three? He had to say four. What comes before it? He had to say two. He got it right. We put it off to the side. He does next one. So, we did that today, and he um, kept going until he got, you know, so he would have to say 19, and then I said, what comes after it? 18. What comes before it? Uh... And he would have to say, I'm sorry, what comes after it's 20? What goes before it? 18. And so, um, sorry, I got distracted because my son's over here to my right doing something. Uh, anyway, so um, that's what he did, and he just kept going. And I really liked using these because it had T numbers, so it wasn't super easy. But it also has, you know, easy uh, numbers So because he can quickly tell me what comes before and after three, but he has to think about some of the teen numbers. So I liked that I mixed it up. So sometimes he got an easy one, sometimes he got a more difficult one. Uh, but if you use flashcards or, um, you know, uh, or if you just write them down on little, pe you know, pieces of paper and make your own, you can do whatever numbers you want for your child to work on. So just something fun that we did today and I thought I'd share. All right, see you next time.